Take some video of it where it's sitting. Yeah, I have been doing it. Taking pictures, yeah. Do you still have the original documentation from when this was bought? I got the bill of sale never. You still have the original bill of sale? Yep. That'd be really cool if you could send me that stuff or like a copy of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to get it down off the blocks. Now, My buddy will get here. I'll tell you, we blowed the tires up. I brought an air tank with me, and too. And lifted but... it up enough to... Okay. So we got underneath with the three-ton jack. Yeah, I brought a jack, too. Yeah. They didn't stay, the tires, very long, yeah. or did they... How well, long? no, by... Uh, well, for a while, yeah. I've been spraying them. Sitting since the 80s, right here under this tree. And it's moving for the first time in a long time. Not very willingly. We're going to bring her back to life. our next project just dragged it in literally dragged it in it's been sitting 40 years it was parked in a in a garage for a long time and the garage roof started to leak and they dragged it outside it's been sitting under a tree since the mid 80s and uh, never moved everything seized right up the wheels are stuck and the drums are frozen to the pads the whole thing and uh, so we've got to jump that little hurdle and get that started first. I'm not sure if the wheels are magnesium, so we gotta figure out how to get those nuts off. They're rotted. We'll do a close up and show you. But this is a 440 RT 1968 Coronet. It's a pretty cool car and it, I, I knew the guy that, well, it's still in the family from the original owner. My first job I had in high school, high school went on strike in 1982, I think it was. First job I had was at the local sawmill. So I worked with this guy. Well, I was a young car guy driving a, I had a 57 Chevy, two door sedan. And you know, everything was about cars. And this guy had this 440 RT. And it was something back in the day. Nobody around here bought these cars. This is a little farm community, you know, and it's, it's uh, we're in the country. Nobody bought muscle cars here. So I thought, I thought that was just the coolest thing in the world. So we, once time, we did nothing but talk. School stayed on strike two or three weeks. It wasn't long enough for me, but sooner or later I had to go back to reality. But I got to work with car guys for a while. Many years later, here we are. He passed away, parked it, never fixed it. That's a lesson to all of us because, you know, if you want to do something, you better do it. But, uh, they gave me the call and wanted me to get it going. So, we'll show you the car. So, still obviously got the original power plant, original paint on the car, 440 Magnum. It's an automatic transmission, which, you know, obviously with me, I'd rather have a four speed. You can see those old magnesium wheels. I, they tell me they're magnesium. I need to check them. Because I somehow have to get these lug nuts off. And this is going to be a chore. And if it's magnesium, I really have a problem. If it's aluminum, I can weld a big nut to them and get them off. But uh, that's our first hurdle. The engine turns. So we're all good there. And no problem getting it running. It's only got uh, 78,000 miles. Look at the old floor pans. I mean, we live in Canada and you just don't see stuff that's, that isn't just a pile of rust. And this one's still pretty good. It's amazing. Has a little bit of localized rust in the back, but really overall very good. They took the carpets out of it years ago because the building they had it in was, was leaking. They didn't want everything to rot out, which, you know, did help it. But I mean, the car never saw winters. All in here, it's very good. Just a little bit of swelling, but uh, for around here, 
it's uh, it's spectacular and it's numbers matching original they still have all the documentation from the car when it was new the downside of the car is this trunklet and I have to find one I don't have a clue where I'm gonna find one from from what I've looked at this is a problem and it's very strange that this is so rotten and the rest of the car is good the trunk floor is quite rotten which is available no big deal and not uncommon they're very regularly rotten but uh, we can put a floor in it but I need to find a trunk floor badly so if anybody has a contact for a trunk lid let me know because uh, I mean I can't even fix this the inner structure is all gone the other the outer obviously is toast I mean look at this way down here it's just gone it's so strange that the rest of the car can be that good and the trunk lid can be that bad but it is what it is very very little down here in the bottom of the quarters other than that, the outer sheet metal is all really nice shape. Even the old original paint, I mean, it's amazing. This side outside, it, it's not like it was under a cover being protected. This car, I mean, it's, it's been in the elements. But when they called me up to look at it, I said, in my mind, I thought, wow, I got to go look at the car, you know. But I said, it's going to be a pile. It's going to be just rotten. It's really not. It's, it's uh we can very easily get it on the road other than that trunk lid. Um, we'll do a full brake job on it. And I'll pour some some uh, secret sauce down this engine. Try and get that thing loosened up. Uh, well, it is loose. It turns. But I just need to be careful with it. We'll go through the process. We'll pre-oil it. Do everything we got to do to make sure we keep the engine safe. Get that, you know, we'll fire that up. That's no big deal. Really just getting these tires off, getting these wheels off, getting the brakes loosened up, and uh, we'll make a car out of it again. It's going to be fun. It's a real honor to have it.